<laughs> I feel like when you meet like uh, celebrities or whatever in the right environment, like mm. it normally results in like really positive. Like yeah. if you're in the green room with someone that normally, um, obviously not everyone is, can get in the green room sadly. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if, if they're in a place where they're like comfortable mm -hmm. and talk to them, I find like most people you speak to are really fucking cool. Yeah, that's like, true. Most, most, I mean, there's, most, I've, most. Met, I've met plenty of guests who have been like, yikes. Yeah, uh, yeah. At conventions. Yeah. Uh, won't go into that. Yeah, uh, well, we should <laughs> leave them unnamed. Uh, yeah. I don't want to get called out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was like one time I punched that kid. I really don't want that getting out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one time I punched that guest. No, I mean, yeah. you've seen, you, dude, this, some of the stuff I've seen guests do, you're like, holy shit, they're confident doing that in front of like eight other guests. Yikes. Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen guests that have made like, cause at cons you get like handlers. Mm, I've seen yeah. them like make their handlers cry over like nothing. Yeah, just, yeah. We're all just sitting there in the room like, <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Cause I'm just sitting here being like, I don't even know what to do with my hand. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is, I don't even know where my handle is. Right? Yeah, I, I tell them, I'm like, listen, I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Good. Maybe I'll need a coffee at some point over this weekend. <laughs> like I, I feel bad asking you to do that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, I feel like one guest who, and this is probably gonna be like, so like, of course, Connor. Like I, um, so when I was doing like, obviously Sebastian stuff for so I long. Knew, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. But okay, no, cause like, I felt like I learned so much, right? So uh, I was copying J. Michael Tatum's Sebastian impression for so fucking long, mm. right? And uh, I was so worried when I met him. Cause I was like, I'm literally like made my career at that point yeah, yeah, yeah. of just copying it. <laughs> yeah. Right, which could have gone either way. You, can, right. you thought it could have been like the Spider-Man meme. Like <laughs> <laughs> it could have been like, I fucking hate what you're doing. Why are you copying me? Stop yeah. doing that. Or it yeah. could have been like, who are you? Or it could have been like, oh, nice. I right. guess I, I didn't expect, I don't know what I expected. And mm. uh, when I met him, he was super fucking nice. He was like, oh, you're that fucking guy. Like yeah. jokingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, phew. Okay, yeah. he's cool about it. And yeah, he invited me for drinks and stuff and we met. And uh, yeah, one thing I learned from him is that like he is amazing at handling like get, like uh, the, the fans that come to him. Oh really? Right. And just getting to like sit next to him and watch him like talk to them. And like, he just immediately like changed his like atmosphere based on who he saw and who was mm. coming near him. Yeah, yeah. It, like he just read people like immediately. Mm. And so start trying to like copy doing that. And like, it was like rough at the start, but I feel like I've learned so much from him and just, how to compose yourself, how to just be nice to people. <laughs> so, no, so, I was such an ass hunter. Yeah. Like, so not only did you copy his voice, but you copied the way that you handled yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They, like, and that, he was so willing to like, like help me out and mm. teach me things. And uh, he also like- It was uh, like training you up like a prodigy. Yeah, yeah. He, like there was a con that I, I like wasn't going to go to and he personally like vouched on my behalf and oh, said, wow. this guy's good. Like, he was like, you need to get him. And like mm -hmm. really nice guy, him and his husband, Brandon are both some of the nicest voice actors. I mean, actors yeah, I, I, was, yeah. I was just about to say like the way that Brandon and I kind of met online <laughs> was a uh, little like- <laughs> Are you shitting on voice actors? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not really. <laughs> It was like, uh, <laughs> so to give context, like I've never met Brandon IRL yeah, yet, yeah, yeah. but we follow each other on Twitter and we've talked like- He's one on of the off. nicest dudes I've Such ever met. Such a nice guy. Really Such right, a, right. like, Stand And I can guy. immediately tell incredibly intelligent. He's like getting well. TikTok famous as well. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. <laughs> but um, I did this video, uh, I think it was sometime this year. It was early this year where I asked my fans on Twitter to send me videos of them speaking in Japanese, <laughs> or asking questions about yeah, Japanese, yeah. and then I respond or like answer their question or whatever. And one of the videos was Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> and he was speaking in the most perfect Japanese I've ever heard. Like yeah. his Japanese is actually perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the video, he, uh, he said, he basically asked like, so uh, I've seen videos of you in the past kind of, Shitting on dubs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's a. Uh, so Michael and his husband are, are both. Uh, they're both Brandon, dub voice actors. Yeah. Dub voice actors. yeah, they're both dub voice actors. And uh, Brandon used to be a professional translator. Yeah, he was. Uh, so hence why he's Japanese. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. But in the video, he, in full Japanese, you know, very very professional Japanese. He's like, so um, you've kind of been uh talking ill heartedly about uh, dubs <laughs> and dub voice actors. Um, so as a translator. Uh, I want to know like, what is the best, like what is a solution to that? And immediately in the video, you can see immediately I was just like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he, had, he, he had like that, sh Brandon had that like shit eating grin of like, I've, I've completely won here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I have taken the W, now you <laughs> must hand it to me. I remember me. when I saw that on Twitter, I was like, good Joey, you, you have to admit the dubs are good now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically in the video, I was just like, listen, like it's not the voice actors usually, it's the voice directors. You know, I did that whole spiel. Yeah. And luckily he was really, really cool about it. And you know, because he, he said it in such a nice, fashion as well to me. Mm -hmm. He, you know, I, I couldn't help but just being like, okay, you know what? 
I'll give you that one. <laughs> yeah. You drop this king. Like I'll, I'll give it to you. All right. Yeah. But um, man, yeah, he's dude. Like I'd love to meet him IRL. And, oh yeah they're, and, yeah. they're both super nice guys. And I mean, the reason why I, I speak, speak so highly of them is just because they've just been so nice to me and so welcoming. Honestly, yeah. every dub voice actor I've interacted with either yeah. IRL or not IRL has been really, really nice to me. Considering yeah, the fact man. that I had supposedly shit talked a lot of tough voice <laughs> actors. I yeah, haven't been most- shit talking the voice <laughs> actors, okay? Just the just the product. Just, just the dumb You're just trying to deflect the blame. <laughs> <joke>. Please, <laughs> I like you. Deflect, vo- deflect. I liked you guys. <laughs> oh, it's the director's fault, me to direct it. It was the production yeah, team. Yeah, it was the production team's fault. I meet the It pro- was the audio software's <laughs> fault. It was <laughs> Adobe. It was no one's fault. You just had a crunch yeah. time. You yeah, know, yeah, that was, that yeah. Was I was deaf in one ear. <laughs> Clearly. I, I'm-